Hey guys, welcome back to Click Academics. In today's video, I'm going to be teaching you guys how to solve this exponential equation. So we have 7 to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. And we want to find our value of x here. So now for our solution, original equation was, again, 7 to the power of 2x minus 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m plus n, this is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So this essentially distributes with both my exponents here. So in this case, I have 7 to the power of 2x minus 1. And although this is an addition, we can think of this as a is equal to 7, m is equal to 2x, and n is equal to negative 1. So if this is true, then I would have 7, which is a, to the power of m, which is 2x, times a, 7, again, to the power of n, which is negative 1. Now this is equal to 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. And now I'm going to do the same thing with 5 to the power of 2x plus 1. So again, our property was a to the power of m plus n is equal to a to the power of m times a to the power of n. So in this case, a is equal to 5, m is equal to 2x, and n is equal to 1. So now I have a to the power of m, so 5 to the power of 2x times a to the power of n. So 5 to the power of n, which is 1. So now putting it all together, I have 7 to the power of 2x times 7 to the power of negative 1 is equal to 5 to the power of 2x times 5 to the power of 1. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of negative x, this is equal to 1 over a to the power of x. So if I had a to the power of negative 1, this would simply equal 1 over a to the power of 1, which is equal to 1 over a. So in this case, I have 7 to the power of negative 1. So that's going to equal 1 over 7. Now this is equal to 5 to the power of 2x times 5 to the power of 1, which is simply 5. So now, if I multiply 7 to the power of 2x, with 1 over 7. Actually, now if I multiply by 7 on both sides, these two would cancel out because these two are reciprocals. And if you multiply two reciprocals, that simply equals 1. So I get 7 to the, to the power of 2x is equal to 7 times 5 to the power of 2x times 5. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to divide both sides by 5 to the power of 2x. So then these two would cancel out. So now I'm left with 7 to the power of 2x over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to seven times five. Now you may be thinking to actually multiply these two, but I am actually not. I'm just gonna leave them in the form they are. Now, if I have something in the form a to the power of m over b to the power of m, this is equal to a over b to the power of m. So in this case, I have seven to the power of two x over five to the power of two x. So we can think of a as seven, b as five, and m as 2x. So then this would be 7 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to 7 times 5. Now if I take the log on both sides, I get log 7 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to log 7 times 5. Now, an important property of logarithms is that if I have, let's say, log a to the power of b, 
I can actually move this x1 and b to the front of the logarithm. So then this would be equal to b times log a. And the same thing actually works for the natural log 2 ln. So if I had ln log ln a to the power of b, I can actually move this x1 and b to the front, so this would equal b times ln a. And why this property is so important is that, let's say, we have 7 to the power of x equals 9, right? And we obviously want to find the value of x, but in this case, x is an exponent, so it's really hard to find this. But if we took the log on both sides, then we can move this exponent to the front, and now, as you can see, it's a normal term, and we can solve for the value of it. So we can simply divide both sides by log 7. These two cancel out, and I have x is equal to log 9 over log 7. So that's why this property is so important. So now going back, we had log 7 over 5 to the power of 2x is equal to log 7 times 5. Now, using this property, we can move 2x here to the front. So now I have 2x times log 7 over 5 is equal to log 7 times 5. Now, if I divide both sides by log 7 over 5, Well, actually, before that, if I have something in the form log a times b, this is equal to log a plus log b. So log 7 times 5, this is equal to log 7 plus log 5. So now I can go ahead and divide both sides by log 7 over 5. So then these two cancel out, and I would be left with 2x is equal to log 7 plus log 5 over log 7 over 5. So now, if I have something in the form log of a over b, this is equal to log a minus log b. So now I would have 2x is equal to log 7 plus log 5 over log 7 minus log 5. So now I'm going to divide both sides by 2. So then this would all be over 2. So now I finally get x is equal to log 7 plus log 5 over log 7 minus log 5 over 2. So that is my answer.